Now in this question we've got to work out the constants a, b and c in this particular identity. And in questions like this, partial fractions type questions, always multiply by this denominator here to both sides. So if I multiply this fraction by 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1, it's just going to leave me with the numerator here. So we'd have two lots of 4x squared plus 1. And that's going to be identical to a times 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. So I put that in there. 2x minus 1. Move on to multiplying this term by 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And that's going to leave me with b times 2x minus 1. That's because the 2x plus 1 would cancel out with that 2x plus 1. And then multiply the final term by the denominator here again. And what we're left with is c times just the 2x plus 1. OK. Now what we want to do is to make one or more of these brackets zero. It makes the solution of this very quick and easy. So if I was to choose, say, x equals minus a half, for instance, it would take out this particular term because this bracket would be zero. So I'm going to let x equal minus a half. So Therefore, if I put minus a half in for x here, I've got minus a half squared, which is a quarter. Four times a quarter is one, plus another one is two, and two times two is four. So I'll get four on the left-hand side. It's now an equation, so I make sure I write an equals. If we put minus a half into this term, this bracket becomes zero, so that means that whole term goes out. If I put minus a half into this term here, we have 2 times minus a half, which is minus 1. Then we have another minus 1, so that's minus 2, times it with b, and we have minus 2b. And putting minus half into this bracket means that this goes to 0. c times 0 is nothing. So we end up with a simple equation, 4 equals minus 2b, which we can solve. And that leaves us with b equaling minus 2. So we have one of the constants anyway. Let's pick another value for x, a suitable value for x. That would be a half, because that will make this bracket 0 and take out the complete term. And it would also make this bracket 0. So we'll let x equal a half. So putting it through the left-hand side here, half squared is a quarter, four times a quarter is one, one of one is two, two times two is four. So you've got four on the left-hand side, equals again, because it's an equation. Putting half through here, as we said earlier, this bracket goes to zero, so that means the whole term goes out. Putting half in here means that this bracket goes to zero, so that term disappears. And half in here, two times half is one, one add one is two, so you get two C. Solving this means that therefore C is equal to four divided by two, which is two. So we have B and C, all that's left to do now is find A. And to get A, there's many things that I could do. I've run out of values of x to put in that make any of these brackets zero. I could choose, for instance, to equate coefficients of x squared. Or I could put any other value of x in, like x is naught, and solve it from there. But looking at this, it looks like the quickest, easiest way would be to compare coefficients of x squared. So I'm going to compare the coefficients, okay, we'll just write that in, okay, of x squared. By that we're looking at the numbers that would be in front of any x squared term. Now on the left hand side, if you were to expand this out, you would get 8x squared plus 2. So it's the 8 that is the coefficient of x squared. So I'll put 8 here, 
and it's equal to. And looking at this term here, if I was to expand this, I would get a 4x squared, and then I would get some x terms and constants. But I'm only interested in the x squared term, so that would be 4x squared. Multiply it by the a, and I've got 4ax squared. So that must be equivalent then to 4a. 8x squared would equal the 4ax squared. There won't be any x squared terms here, nor would there be in the last term. So therefore, solving this just leaves me with a equals 2. So, I found then, for part a of this question, the constants a, b and c.